Now, the largest ever container vessel to carry on the Lagos Pilotage District has berthed at the Tinkan Island Port Complex of the Najum Ports Authority. A massive commercial carrier, MSC Mooring, measures 300 meters long and 15,000 container capacity. TVC News Maritime Correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. The arrival of MSC Marine with a gross tonnage of 75,590 tons and a dead weight of 85,810 tons reflects the Nigerian Ports Authority strategy to position the nation's ports to serve landlocked neighboring countries' cargo requirements. Upon receiving the vessel at the Tinkan Island Port Quayside, the port manager and others noted that the development demonstrates the port's capacity to receive vessels. This is despite the pressing need for port rehabilitation, which the authorities' management is currently working on under the direction of the Federal Ministry of Transportation. Vessel of 300 meters, the numbers of containers it is bringing is of course enormous. And also the, the um, ship dues that will come into the Nigerian ports in hundreds of dollars um, is something that definitely will turn the country around. We look at this as new business for the country. We look at this as uh, a revenue earner for the country. I, we just got to know that this, con this uh, container carrier can carry about 15,000 TEUs. Before the arrival of this vessel, we have had that uh, privilege uh, to simulate this kind of vessel so that we can have the technical know-how before the arrival of the vessel. On that note, we are able to understand the, the, the behavior pattern of that vessel. That is the essence of that simulation. Moreover, the assistant harbour master for Tinkan Island Port clarified that MSC Marine has the distinction of being the largest commercial carrier that has ever called at the Lagos Pilotage District, whereas Egina, which preceded it, was a floating oil and gas production and storage unit. We had 275 coming in, now we have 300, so we are continually pushing the limit to see that we maximize resources, reduce wastage, that because with these vessels, um, it also restores investors' confidence in us. Nigerian Post Authority Managing Director Mohamed Belokoko recently said the authority will soon obtain approvals for the reconstruction of Tinkan and infrastructure rehabilitation across all post locations to improve port competitiveness. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.